Well, France have been in protest for a while because their government went to raise the retirement age. And I support the people taking a stand against that because we in America should have took a stand against that as well. In my opinion, retirement age in America should be 55 years old. It should be no 62. It should be 55 because at the age of 55, you're still, you know, moving around pretty good. You know, you can go enjoy your life, all of that. You can travel. Why should you wait to 62? Now they're trying to raise it all the way up to 70 in America. They're talking about raising it because they don't want to pay you your benefits that you work for your whole life. So I want you to watch this clip because this one, you know, a uh, uh, white woman is, is trying to virtue signal for, for people to go out and do something. But our sister had a great response. You guys, why are we not taking notes from France right now? Take notes for what? We could take all the notes in the world. It doesn't change the fact that our countries are fundamentally different. America has a militarized police force that disproportionately kills black and brown people. They're supposed to be law enforcement, but they're killing us and taking our tax dollars. Do you think that makes us want to jump up and go protest? You've seen the results of the last few protests. Who is disproportionately affected? Black and brown people. You could throw your body in front of a black body and nothing's going to happen to you. You'd be sparing two lives. We can't do that shit. White people can go into electric company that they work for and dare to turn off power to the wealthiest Americans who are also white. We can't do that shit. It's like y'all say stuff. And you want to include everybody you have these rallying cries and these collective cries for moral outrage you forget that our country is split it's always been divided because of the way that it started and because of the way that some of us are still treated so i'm not taking notes for anything i see what's happening in france i'm glad that they are able to do what they're doing to fight for their that's great but we all know that this country is different we don't operate the same way as any other country this country is violent and it's evil and it hurts people, its own people. I'm not putting myself on the front lines for that. I'm not fighting so that everybody can have because everybody doesn't fight for me. And your community in particular has this habit of voting against the best interests of all of us. And I, by all of us, I mean black and brown people. Y'all will vote against anything if it means keeping us down. And I'm not trying to include you. I don't know how you vote personally, but I'm talking about your community as a whole. So when you have these videos and you make these claims and tell us this stuff, it kind of goes in one ear and out the other because you totally disregard the fact that we are already treated the way that you are fighting to not be treated. So I'm in the house. Now, everything that sister said is spot on. America has a militarized police force, especially against black people, because that militarized police force don't come out unless we go come out. Cause you go back and remember January the 6th, where was that militarized police force then? If any time you needed it, it was January the 6th, right? And they didn't bring nothing out, but let black folks go stand outside and talk about protesting something that legitimately happened. They're bringing out every new weapon they ever come out with. They one they've been working on, they're gonna test it on black people. They're gonna work, they're gonna try all the take down techniques that's brand new. They're gonna try the, the brand new handcuffs they've been waiting to try. They're gonna do wait till black people come out to try all of that. And what that sister said about fighting, black folks collectively, we're not fighting for everybody no more, especially that group of people, because every time black people have fought and, and, and lost their life, went to jail, et cetera, for them, how black people have been treated afterwards. You've seen the results of the last few protests. Who is disproportionately affected? Black and brown people. You could throw your body in front of a black body and nothing's gonna happen to you. You'd be sparing two lives. We can't do that. White people can go into electric company that they work for and dare to turn off power to the wealthiest Americans who are also white. We can't do that. It's like y'all say stuff and you want to include everybody. You have these rallying cries and these collective cries for moral outrage. You forget that our country is split. It's always been divided because of the way that it started and because of the way that some of us are still treated. So I'm not taking notes for anything. I see what's happening in France. I'm glad that they are able to do what they're doing to fight for their That's great. But we all know that this country is different. We don't operate the same way as any other country. This country is violent and it's evil. If they want their life to be better, if they got a problem with something the government is doing, they can get out there and they can go protest and they can go deal with their police force and, 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 and their government. 
we as black people don't need to be doing nothing but working on our community, focusing on, on what we need to do for us, period. That's all thing we need to focus on because every time that we have stuck our neck out that they don't stand up for us, they don't. Now some of you may say, well, during the George Floyd, they were out there. They were not out there doing nothing that we asked them to do. They were bored because they were stuck in the house and it was a perfect time for them to come outside because black people was outside because the black people never stood up and said anything. They would have never did it. They always want us to be on the, the lead of something. Want us on the front line for, for everything, right? How many marches and, 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 and protests you really see them go out and do? They don't really do much of nothing. And the only reason they complaining is because it's affecting them. Cause let's call it what it is. If whatever the government is doing don't affect them, but affect us, they cool. They fine. They, they have nothing to say. It's peace in the Valley for them. But now when you start being treated like black folks have been treated, now all of a sudden it's a problem. You should have said something when black folks are treated bad. We live in the same country, but you don't care about that. Cause like Dr. King said, you, you cool with having two Americas, a one for, for them folks and one for us. And as long as we getting the bad end of the stick and they're not, they're cool with it. They do not care. I'm not putting myself on the front lines for that. I'm not fighting so that everybody can have because everybody doesn't fight for me. And your community in particular has this habit of voting against the best interests of all of us. And I, by all of us, I mean black and brown people. Y'all will vote against anything if it means keeping us down. And I'm not trying to include you. I don't know how you vote personally, but I'm talking about your community as a whole. So when you have these videos and you make these claims and tell us this stuff, it kind of goes in one ear and out the other because you totally disregard the fact that we are already treated the way that you are fighting to not be treated. Well, you always got to remember that pendulum swings all the way back around and that's what's happening to them even to this day. They complaining about uh, interest rates. They complaining about high prices. They complaining about this, complaining about that. Well, all that time, black folks have been suffering high interest rates when you wasn't. Black folks have been getting evicted when you wasn't. Black folks had to pay high food prices just because of their zip code when you didn't have to pay it. So now you got to start paying it. It's a problem now. No, it's called equality. And you, you getting it now too. But we should not ever, ever, ever go fight for them, go do anything. Because like I tell people, I'm not fighting for them. I'm not fighting for a thing. I'll pack myself up real quick and get on out of here before I fight something. For them? No. For black people? Yes. I'll fight all day for black people. But I'm not fighting for them. And I'm not fighting for, for even fighting for us. If they benefit off of fight, we fighting, I, I don't want nothing to do with it. Because I don't want them to benefit nothing. Because we've done enough for them all the way back in slavery. They don't want to get reparations for what we've done for them. We built a whole country and they need to pay us back for that. And they, they tell me, you don't need no reparations. Okay, fine. You can say that at least for now, but don't expect us to do anything for you. Don't ever fight for them. Don't you ever only fight for our community because they don't appreciate it and they don't deserve it. But let me know what y'all think about, you know, what our sister's saying here, because like I said, them days are gone. We're going to go fight for them. No fight for yourself for a change.